Okay, Jason French from D-Lavelle back uh, here at uh, another part of the robotic facility at Fair Oaks Dairy in Indiana. So this is now the educational visitor center. Uh, so visitors will be uh, coming in uh, that are on the tour groups into the robotic barn and be able to see at a new angle uh, the facility plus learn a little bit more about the dairy industry. So let's uh, do a little turn. So they're going to enter the barn, the sorry, the visitor center. And I'm not going to show you exactly what's going to happen here because I think you need to take the time and come here yourself. But primarily they are welcoming the groups. This is a De Laval teeth spray robot, but it is now the new greeter and he is currently sleeping. And what he will do is he will greet the people, play a little song on the bells, move some blocks, and really welcome the group. So this is the start of the visitor center. So they're gonna come in to the observation area, and we have our special welcome or um, ribbon cutting here today. So we have a bit more stuff up uh, than usual. And when they come in, they're going to be able to see uh, the barn on your right uh, so they look can look down but pretty interesting is on the left is this mural that was made and it really symbolizes the farm of fair oaks the farms here in the united states but they're feeding the cities and i think that's pretty uh, nice way to make a facility like this really talk to the public is how much they're supporting them and supporting their overall families with producing good high quality food. So they're going to be able to come and look over the cows. For some of you cow people, this is actually a really nice uh, area to watch the cow flow and see how cows are moving uh, within uh, the barn as well. So like I explained on the first uh, video, uh, they're coming off uh, laying down they're coming through the sort gate the selection gate getting selected into this area here for a milking and then they go back through uh, the selection gate to go back out to feed interesting uh, thing that they had done as well they have some spray nozzles uh, to uh, spray the cows off in the summer months during the hot so it gives them a bit of a soak down as well Really quiet, calm barn, these robot barns. Like I said, um, three full-time equivalents working this barn. Uh, they do have a, another person that comes in for feeding, but uh, these people look after all the breeding, breaking stalls, just make sure all cows uh, are looked after. Really very, very low fetch rate uh, because of the Milk First guided uh, system. Okay, so let's uh, just take a little tour uh, again through. Uh, this uh, visitor center um, and this is a pretty cool thing as well so they actually have a glass ceiling over top of that uh, robot room so now uh, a visitor can uh, come uh, to the center uh, they can look down at the robot and uh, seeing it uh, working but notice the uh, the blue uh, light on the floor and that corresponds to this screen and so the screen that says there is uh, milking and it's in blue. When that goes to uh, the, pr the prep cup and then the teat spray after the post spray, then that'll change to a different color. And so it's pretty unique. So the visitor can stand here and they can look at the different camera views. So I would like to go to camera one and the camera one is a camera over top of the feed station. I then switch to camera two, and that's um, a larger view of the uh, robot uh, working, the full arm and the overall attachment. But if I want to get a little closer, again, now it's a view right on that arm and uh, watching uh, the overall robot work. And then uh, come back for an overall um, factor on that cow, uh, seeing the uh, milk flow rate, the amount of milk that is being harvested uh, as well. 
and of course um, her identification. So pretty cool this experience here. And then once again they can just turn around and uh, and watch the herd work. So pretty uh, pretty incredible uh, what they've done here in this overall visitor center, giving a really good experience uh, to the public. Uh, to show that cows are very relaxed and uh, working well. They also have a robotic dairy theater uh, as well uh, for some additional educational uh, things. And then we worked with them as well just to show a little bit of the history of what De Laval has done uh, over the years. You know, this, this is an old company back in the early 18, mid 1800s with a cream separator and uh, now to the overall robotic system that's happening out there in our teats for robots in our voluntary milking system and it all stems from our sweden office in tumba this is our robotic facility we have a stanchion facility we also have a parlor facility in sweden and it overlooks the actual robot manufacturing plant in our head office. So a lot of great history uh, within uh, De Laval over the years. And I think we're gonna have a great history here at Fair Oaks Dairy and the ability once again for them to teach the public, but for us to bring our dairy farmers that are interested in robotic milking and especially on a larger scale. So if you have the time uh, to uh, come uh, to this facility uh, and you want to come, Certainly give me a shout or any of our deal of all reps and we'd be happy to work with you. So that's our last tour for today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed watching it.